They all wanna be the best like me But they ain't never spit it this fresh like me And they ain't never did it for the West like me But yet they all trying to be just like me What is up B-Team? It's your boy Curtis B and I'm back with another reaction video We got another video here from Tom McDonald It is called Balloons um, I'm a little bit late on this one But I've been a little busy So we're just gonna dive right into it now It is Never too late to check out a new Tom McDonald song and video. Um, I respect this dude so much, mainly because of his work ethic. Not that I don't think his music deserves credit, because it does. He is talented. But the most important thing, I think, is work ethic. This dude has it, man. Him and his, I think, girlfriend. I don't think it's his wife, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's him and his girlfriend. They, they do all the work together. They... They make the videos, um, they do the, well, he does the songs, I'm assuming, but she helps a lot with the videos. They make a really good team, and it's dope that they do all this stuff together. That's why I enjoy watching his videos a lot. With that said, let's get into it. Tom McDonald Balloons. Yeah. I miss the days when no one even knew my name. Now everywhere I go, I wear a hat to hide my face. I got weapons hidden inside every room in my place. Okay. Now I have to... I'm sorry, I just have to pause and say this real quick. That's a nice microphone. This dude has some really good equipment. Okay, now let's go back. Sorry. I miss the days I when no one it. even knew my name. Now everywhere I go, I wear a hat to hide my face. I got weapons hidden inside every room in my place. Ooh. Now I have to keep a pistol on me always just in case. This is a night. That's real. That is real already, man. Um, his songs are always deep, but this is um, diving into uh, like a personal level here, how he feels in public now that he's gaining a lot more attention or not even just the public in his own home. Like that's every room in my crazy. place. Now I have to keep a pistol on me always just in case this is a nightmare. Never expected the fame to be something I would wrestle with and fight to embrace. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like the love I get's outweighed by the hate. I hid the tears, but I can't hide from the pain. I'm working 20 hour days. Can't even lie to y'all. I'm burnt out. Oh. Asleep. I'm oh, it's one of those songs. Man, that emotion poured out already. Just diving. I'm saying diving a lot. <laughs> Going right into the first verse, man. This emotion is pouring out. And I, I don't know where he's coming from because I'm not famous. I haven't reached any level of fame whatsoever. But I know a lot of celebrities that um, not regret getting famous, but at the same time say it's, it's not all it's cracked up to be. You know, everybody has problems. Even if you're famous and wealthy, problems come with that. Different problems than what you would have otherwise. But still, problems nonetheless. I'm working 20 hour days, can't even lie to y'all. I'm burnt out, asleep on my weight bench, trying to find the strength to work out. Ooh. To be happy, I'm successful. I just went and bought my first house. Thought money would help cure my depression, but it's worse. How? Oh, Tired of damn. It. Lucky I don't have a manager, because I'll be firing them. Tired of talking to other artists who just want to tell me I'm inspiring them. Parents keep telling me they have a kid and they're thankful the child is admiring me. Great. Want to know how I feel? I might kill myself before retiring. Damn. Wow, holy shit, he's, he's got some, he's got some shit to work out, I hope this song is not actually saying, or not a sign of anything, I hope this is just his way of getting these feelings off of his chest, I, I can definitely relate to that as a music artist myself, I loved making songs that were personal like that, just because after you do it, you feel so much better, it's like writing in a journal or a diary, except you're making a song out of it, trying to take a negative, Spin it into somewhat of a positive. I'm in the clouds. I can't reach the ground. They're coming in crowds. Blew me up like a balloon and let me go. Oh, okay. That's tight. I like this metaphor here. I might get close. They pull out their phones. Maybe this time we can see them explode. Blew me up like a balloon and let me go. I like the meaning behind this chorus. They don't want to see me blow. The reason that I'm gone, they don't want to see me go. Blew me up like a balloon and left me. I miss the times when I really like that right there. Okay. The chorus, not only is it catchy, it just sounds good sonically, but the meaning behind it is awesome. The metaphor of you know, being like a balloon, like just let me go so it can float away. I like that a lot. Blow, blew me up like a 
took a balloon and left me. I miss the times when I could go outside. I didn't have to watch my back out of the corner of my eye. I didn't have to fake a smile and pose for pictures all the time. Can't even lie, I miss when time was really mine. That's Now crazy. I just belong to everybody else but me. These panic attacks are making it awful hard to breathe. Build a vocal booth inside the crib and stop making beats. Don't even rap, I stand inside of it and scream. Damn. Well, this is not what I expected. I worked my hands to the bone. And my anxiety is triggered by the apps on my phone. I tried deleting them so the internet would leave me alone. But the lack of attention made me feel worse than before. Damn. Where do you go from there? When you think your problem is this, you get rid of that problem, and then the problem comes back in some other type of form. That's crazy. I can relate to this, though, just having a small YouTube channel. This the, this YouTube channel right here isn't even that big, but there has been times where I needed to stop going on the YouTube studio app and reading through comments because there's a lot of positive comments, which I really appreciate from a lot of people. I, I appreciate people who support my channel, all the nice comments, I love them. But every now and then you run across the negative ones and even though I know that it's stupid to care about them, it's still just, you know, it rubs you the wrong way sometimes and it can put you in a bad mood. So there has been times where I deleted the apps or at least uh, took it off my home screen so I wouldn't think about going on it. So I can relate to what he's saying. Leave me way. alone, but the lack of attention made me feel worse than before. I'm sick of it all. The internet watching me trip when I fall. Embarrassed that everyone witnesses all. My illness is in real time. Man, I'm addicted to y'all. Mm. Rappers on Twitter don't get me involved. I'm posing for photos with fans in the mall and dying inside pretending I'm strong. I'm not a celebrity. I am just tall. Dang. <laughs> That's crazy. Sometimes people treat celebrities like they're... They're superhuman or like godlike, but they're just people, man. Just like us. They have feelings. They have anxiety. They, they feel pressure. That's some really good editing right there, too. I think I saw a picture that he posted with him. Um, wearing like a white sheet or something to cover everything except his face with the ski mask and then um the balloon he was holding they did some cgi work on this that's, that's pretty impressive for somebody who's not professional i don't know maybe maybe they are professional at it by now but it's still tough work to do when you're doing it a lot throwing rocks because they trying to poke holes they want to see me pop they don't want to see me blow for the reason that i'm gone they don't want to see me go Blew me up like a balloon and I miss the years when every Friday wasn't spent with my therapist. Mm. Then I realized I hated fame and accepted I'm scared of it. I got Ativan, Ciprolex, Xanax, and Seroquel in a Tupperware container. I don't touch, I just stare at them. Damn. Breathing exercises that's supposed dangerous. to help me to cope. But no that's dangerous, man. That's that's a that's a road that a lot of people shouldn't go down, man. Um, addictive personality doesn't hit everybody, but still, when you have that type of situation, you know you have. The easy road, I guess, pop some pills and feel better, but that's that's not gonna help you in the long Damn, run. I don't touch, I just stare at them. Breathing exercise is supposed to help me to cope, but nothing works quite as good as a bottle of Jack and a smoke. I try to focus on my breath, but it gets stuck in my throat. This never happened back when I was young and happy and broke. I never thought I'd be the rapper all these rappers trying to be. Posting 20 times a day, now I don't have no privacy. Mm. Meeting with these major labels, CEOs with giant teams. If y'all want to do business, why are y'all trying to lie to me? I'm bored of the fame. Every time it feels fresh Damn, again, I'm getting... This is, this is crazy, man. Um, Tom does this a lot. I mean, he's no stranger to really deep lyrics. You know what I mean? Like, he's telling a story. He's going in depth a lot on... on feelings and stuff that's not new to him but at the same time you know getting this deep into his personal life and his emotions the way he feels about certain things that are going on in his life it's it's crazy to hear to do business why are y'all trying to lie to me i'm bored of the fame every time it feels fresh again i'm getting more of the same interviewers think they know who i am they made up their mind before i explain well because you asked so nice i guess i'll tell ain't been feeling too hot lately jim is there anything else great because lately yeah. every day i feel like i'm living in hell i'm glad the music helps you but i might really kill myself when this magazine gets printed can you send one to my house i'd like to own a tiny piece of me like everybody else oh, wow. Wow, 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 what a good line. 
especially to end on the last first. Wow. I gotta Please hear that again. You, but I might really kill myself. When this magazine gets printed, can you send one to my house? I'd like to own a tidy piece of me like everybody else. Oh, wow. Damn, he's saying he feel like he doesn't he doesn't own any part of him, not even a tiny piece. Like his whole existence is dedicated to other people and doing things that he's not really excited about anymore. Like that's that's crazy. I'd like to own a tiny piece of me like everybody else. Go, watch me float away while I scream no. Every time I get close, they pull out their phones. Like maybe this time we can see them explode. Blew me up like a balloon and let me go. They out throwing rocks because they trying to poke holes. They want to see me pop. They don't want to see me blow. For the reason that I'm gone, they don't want to see me go. Blew me up Damn, like a this is so good. Video by um, Nova Rockefeller, Dave McDonald. This is who's Dave McDonald? Relation to Tom McDonald? I'm not sure. Sorry, I don't know that much about his personal life. I'm just I'm a fan of of his music for the most part and his work ethic. Like I said, um, I don't dive too deep into celebrities' personal lives, so I'm not exactly sure who Dave is. I know Nova is his, like I said, either girlfriend or wife. Um, his partner but I don't know who Dave is you can let me know in the comments though I would appreciate that dang wow um, I mean what what can I say about that except wow honestly that was crazy such a such a good song let me talk about um, the video first because that's gonna be a lot quicker. I really like the video the effects they had on there um, It was it was pretty simple, but they had the whole face on the balloon CGI thing that was super impressive the editing the editing on that was great Overall the video was entertaining, but the song stole the show here. Honestly, that song was amazing You don't need a video to go along with that song. You can listen to that anytime. You don't need visuals and I feel like he was saying a lot of stuff that people can either relate to or can understand. So even if you haven't been through the challenges that he's talking about or the emotions that he's talking about feeling, even if you haven't experienced those exactly the same way, I think you can find it in your heart to feel compassion, compassion for that situation for anybody going through that situation whether it be tom or anybody else you can kind of understand the road that they're on you know which man that was amazing the emotions were great the song sounded great um super catchy chorus but super deep meaning behind it which is awesome because it gets stuck in people's heads you want to keep singing it over and over but there's such deep meaning behind it. It makes you think every time you hear it, you know? So that was awesome. Shout out to Tom McDonald. Maybe one day he'll see one of my reactions and <laughs> that would be great. I hope he sees him one day because I, I really love his music. I respect the dude. So shout out to him. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I appreciate it. Uh, real quick before you exit it, if you haven't liked it yet, smash the like button. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment to let me know what else you wanna see me react to. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one and peace out.